Ja. 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 Potentially, I have a look at this very device. Yeah. A device for measuring the level of surface contamination for the shift personnel. Yeah. It's a rule for the shift personnel to measure, yeah, a requirement for them to measure the level of surface contamination several times per shift. Yeah. The shift yeah. lasts 12 hours. 12 hours, yes. Well, if the light is green, yeah, the controlled level is not exceeded. If the light is red, it means that the controlled level is exceeded. Yeah? The controlled level for hands, for shoes, for clothes. Well, what is necessary to do? First, to wash hands with cold water. Not warm water, cold water. Otherwise, your pores will be broadened uh, yes. and radioactive particles may get into your skin. Yes. Right? So, cold water. If, then, once again, measuring. If the situation is not changed, you have to address the dosimetry service. Yeah? Special sanitary treatment with uh, using special materials for decontamination. Right? So, then, their responsibility. By the by, the ship personnel, it's a rule for them. They have to wash hands before going to the toilet room yeah. as they work in a contaminated area and after. after. Yes. You wash it after, they wash once before and after. Okay, let's go. или сейчас не время не время мы на обратном пути so that is the central control room we will visit them when we will be back yes, they have a meeting Well, a few words about the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Yeah. You know that it was the first to be constructed and commissioned in Ukraine. The so-called the first bomb. Yeah. The construct no pictures here. No pictures. No pictures. Okay. Wow. Just there? In this very corridor it's okay, but not here. Okay. Well, uh -huh. okay, After you. Mm -hmm. The construction of it started of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. It started at the end of 60s, last century. Last century. Last yeah. century, yes. And the first two reactors, yeah. reactor number one and two, they were commissioned at the end of 70s, 77, 1978. Yeah, relatively. Okay. So that is the control room of unit number two. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. You know that Chernobyl nuclear power plant, it was the so-called Komsomol construction. Yeah? Yes, yes, we know. Do you understand we what understand. it is? Yeah. <laughs> Some of you understand. Yes. I personally also. <laughs> yes, I was a member yeah. of the Komsomol organization. <laughs> A youth organization in the Soviet Union 
So a lot of young people, young engineers, young workers, single, uh, all with their families, they come here to be involved in the construction of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant and then to be involved in its operation. Reactors, num reactors number three and four, they were commissioned later. They were commissioned at the beginning of 80s. Yeah? That was the so-called the second stage of the Watch your steps, please. Watch your steps here. Okay. Well, so, uh, yes, pictures are not enough. Okay. So, Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Yes. Before. Before the accident, imagine 150 billion kilowatt hours of electrical power were generated before the explosion. 158 billion kilowatt hours of electrical power were generated after the explosion. Yeah. A very powerful nuclear installation. Yeah. Nowadays, all the reactors at the Chernobyl site are shut down. Reactor number three, it was the last one, which was shut down in December 2000. Since that time, Chernobyl nuclear power plant hasn't operated reactors of such time. Ukraine hasn't operated reactors of such time. Nowadays, four nuclear power plants are in Ukraine, are operating in Ukraine. But these are the of reactors. These are water and water reactors, not the very reactors. So after the last reactor, the third reactor was shut down, uh, half a year after, in 2001, the new state 